Now we welcome four very distinguished speakers this evening on the affirmative side who, uh, contrary to normal practice, are sitting to my left. We have, the, uh, we have the representatives from the Atheist Foundation and we have Dr John Perkins, who is a mathematical economist, a founding member of the Secular Party, and an economist, mathematical modeler, software developer and writer with qualifications from universities in Melbourne and London. Also Dr Richard Doyle, who has qualifications from the University of Tasmania and from Victoria University, Wellington, New Zealand. On the other side, on the negative side, to my right, from the Combined Baptist Churches of Launceston, we welcome John Mackay, whose degree is from the University of Queensland and who is the Australian and International Director of Creation Research, and Craig Hawkins, whose degrees are from the Australian National University and the University of Tasmania, and who is a registered professional forester, amongst other things. Please welcome our four speakers this evening. Now the proceedings of the evening will be as follows. Each of the speakers, in turn, will have 13 minutes in which to present their primary speech. And that will be, that will be commenced by the Atheist Foundation with John Perkins, and then Craig Hawkins, then Richard Doyle, then John Mackay. They will, they will hear a warning bell at 11 minutes, which tells them they have two minutes remaining. At 13 minutes, a double bell to say their time has elapsed, but they have up to one minute to complete the, the thought that they are on before I commence a repetitive ringing of the bell to say, please sit down. <laughs> Following the four substantive speeches, there will be opportunity for rebuttal and for each side to put one question, one formal question to the other side that they wish them to answer. The rebuttal will be first from the Atheist Foundation and then from the Combined Baptist team. And then the answers to the formal questions will also be in that order. Firstly, from the Atheist Foundation, then from the Combined Baptist team. At that point, there will be opportunity for public questions, and we have allocated 40 minutes to that in order to ensure that the evening finishes around about the two hour mark. Conclusion will come with remarks from either team. Each team will have five minutes in which to make their concluding remarks, reflecting on anything which has been said in the course of the debate and in the questions and responses to them. So, without any further ado, I would ask you please to welcome Dr. John Perkins to present his substantive speech. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Evolution is a fact. It is as true as any proposition in science. Scientific knowledge has proceeded to the point where all doubt about the process of evolution as a description of how life on Earth came about has been dispelled. As a description of a process evolution is indeed reliable. Unwillingness to accept the fact of evolution as a reliable description of a natural process is not so much a question of evolutionary science but one of psychology. Unwillingness to accept evolution does not arise from any failing of science but it is a failing to accept the findings of science. The question for debate and inquiry is therefore not so much whether evolution is reliable, but why some people are unable to accept its reliability. This is a philosophical question relating to belief versus knowledge, to faith versus reason, but it is also a psychological question is a question of how the human mind operates in relation to the acceptance of reality or indulgence in delusion or deception. British scientist Richard Dawkins has stated that anybody who believes the world is only 6,000 years old is either ignorant, stupid, insane or, wi or wicked. <laughs> 